Hello fellow art nerds. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my review of Ian Stewart's book entitled On Plain Air, Light and Color. If you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you are old to my channel, thank you also for stopping by. So I've had this book in my Amazon shopping cart for a while and I finally decided to pull the trigger and buy it. Boy am I glad that I did. It is terrific. First of all, let me start by saying that this book is extremely well designed, with stunning visuals and high quality images. It is an absolute joy to just flip through the pages and admire the artwork. The paper is semi-glossy, and the reproduction quality of the artwork is outstanding. But beyond that, what makes this book even more special is its content. Ian Stewart is an incredible artist and teacher. He really knows how to break down the concepts of light and color in a way that is easy to understand. The book is organized into several chapters, each of which focuses on a particular aspect of painting. If you are like me, you are probably interested in taking a look at the table of contents. Well, ask and ye shall receive. Here you go. Some personal favorite chapters of mine are the ones on keeping a sketchbook, drawing on location, painting techniques. Heck, I pretty much like all of the chapters in the book. Even the chapter about materials, which I usually skip over in most watercolor books that I read, I enjoyed and found it to be interesting to read, if only to see what watercolor paints the author recommends and what paper and brushes he likes to use. So I have read this book all the way through a couple of times now. Here are some things that stood out to me. I really like how Stewart approaches the start of a new painting. He believes in painting on site and in warming up before jumping headfirst into a new painting. He strives to keep things loose by simplifying geometric shapes as much as possible and by capturing only enough detail to express the subject that he would like to convey. His style is definitely more of a loose style of painting, which I really admire. He recommends using a sketchbook to stretch yourself artistically and to move outside your comfort zone. There are several step-by-step -step demonstrations in the book that are worth doing. I've personally done most of the demonstrations myself, including this one on page 35. I wanted to see how well I could follow along and emulate the color swatches in the book. Here's a look at the swatches I did and how they compare to the ones in the book. I think that the fact that I got pretty close to emulating the ones in the book on my very first try is a mark of good teaching and instruction. Have I mentioned that the images in this book are stunning? Yes, I think I have. Just look at this incredible artwork. Eye candy galore. Often when you see watercolor artwork in galleries and in books, the paintings can look somewhat dull in appearance, since watercolors are prone to lightening and fading when they dry. But not so with Ian Stewart's watercolor paintings. They are vibrant and alive and chock full of color. This guy knows his stuff and he is a master at building up layers of color that pop and capture the eye while letting the light shine through. Just masterful. On the last page of the book is a nice write-up about the author. Ian Stewart is Scottish by birth but now makes his residency in the United States. He has a background in architectural illustration and you can really see that come through in his artwork. He often teaches workshops and classes on plein air painting. He is a member of the National and American Watercolor Societies and was recently inducted into the Whiskey Painters of America, which I am sure was well deserved. Overall, this book is an absolute gem for any watercolor enthusiast, whether you're a beginner or an experienced artist. I would highly recommend it to anyone looking to improve their watercolor painting skills and to anyone wanting to learn more about capturing the beauty of light and color in watercolor. This is a book that I keep coming back to for inspiration and advice. It is available to buy on Amazon and would make a good addition to any artist library. If you do end up buying it, I recommend that you read it, do the demonstrations, and then check out a video or two of Ian Stewart demonstrating some of his painting techniques on YouTube. In short, this is a very underrated book and is one that I would definitely recommend. Well, guys. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this book review, 
please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have a personal favorite watercolor book that you would recommend, be sure to leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, take care and happy painting.